everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share a demo of one of the projects we did for our clients. So let's begin with the client's requirements. In this project, we build a quality management system in the Salesforce Community Cloud. Talking about the requirements, the client wanted us to create a quality management system containing several objects. They wanted us to develop a uniquely differentiated SaaS project for medical service software lifecycle that includes software development, quality, risk, and document management for today's emerging market and addresses the challenges of navigating through the FDA regulations. The client wanted multiple traceability relations between the same pair of objects. Besides, the traceability functionality allows impact analysis, that is, when one item changes, all related objects are fetched for potential impact. Let's now move to the project demo. First, let me log into the Salesforce org and show you the application we created for our client. Once logged in, we need to search all communities in the quick find box. Once all the communities appear on the screen, then we will click on this community. A new page appears where I will show the functionality of the application. Here you can see we have two options, profile and logout. If we click on the profile option, we can edit the basic details like name, email, country, time zone. Then we have a navigation menu in which we have multiple objects. Let me now show what these functionalities are and how does all these work. As we click on the action item option, a page appears to have a dynamic data table with multiple records. Here we have several columns to display the records. We can see the total number of records here that is 47. Also we can set number of rows we want to see at a time. At the bottom you can see number of records displayed on a single page. Here you also have the option to switch to a different page. We can also add the number of columns in that table by clicking on the manage table column button. We can also filter the records by clicking on the apply filter button. Here we have a refresh button to refresh the table and records. Here we have a Kanban board in which we can search order type in row field and in column field. We can select status and then click on the save button to save the table changes. Now here is the campaign board with multiple records. In the Kanban board, we can drag the records from one place to another. Also, by clicking on the record title, we can go to the record page. Let me now create a new audit. First, I click on making a new audit button. Then a dialog box appears where the required fields need to be filled, such as audit name, type, and status. After filling in all the required details, we need to click on the save button. Now here, you can see a new record is created and as we click on the record, it is then redirected to the page. Here we can attach files and add URLs as well. You can see the file type and the attachment size. And you can also add the URL here. You can check the attachment and URL here. Here we have the description page. By making the checkbox button, you can get the new version. You can also attach the images in the description by selecting the image and then save it. We can also check the comments here. Here are some more action items of similar functionality. Now is the traceability field. Where we can see here the relationship between the objects. As we click on the first record, we have to click on the object and select the field. In the second record again, we have to choose the object related to the first level object field. And then we have to follow the same process for the third level record and then click on save. You can give the new name to this traceability report or we can choose the existing one to replace it and then click on save. Here we can see the table in which we have the first and second level record. We don't have a third level record here as there is no record for feedback related to the second level records. You can download the report in XLS or PDF format. We can see the record having a parent-child relationship. Let us now save the report in XLS format. 
So here we can use the action items. All the new records are saved here. Now let's see the change history. It is a type of tracker which tells us about the changes and modification in the records. All the changes get stored in the change history. It also shows the date and time of the record modification also mention the name of the modifier. This tracker lets us know all the changes done in the community. The last functionality is login history which user has logged in and logged out from the community. So that was all about my project quality management system that we created.